All right, today we're talking about the converse of the Pythagorean theorem. All right, converse of the Pythagorean theorem. So, um, and this notation here, you know, if a squared, so, you know, I didn't have a superscript here. All right, so if a squared plus b squared equals c squared, if that is true, then the triangle is a right triangle. If a squared plus b squared is less than c squared, then the triangle is an obtuse triangle. And lastly, if a squared plus b squared is greater than c squared, then the triangle is an acute triangle. Now, what I do is, what I personally do is, I look at c squared, all right, and I look at it in terms of c squared. c squared is greater than this. Greater means obtuse. c squared is less than. It's an acute triangle, all right? So I look at it in terms of c squared. How does c squared relate to these other two? All right, if c squared is greater, it's an obtuse triangle. If c squared is less than, it's an acute triangle. Okay? So we have these two triangles here. Tell whether a given triangle is a right triangle. We have these two triangles, all right? The side lengths represent a triangle, but do we have a right triangle? Okay? And the square root of 13 here is 3 point something. And 3 point something times 3 is going to be greater than 9, right? So that is the largest side. So we have 6 squared plus 9 squared. Is it less than, greater than, or equal to 3 square root of 13 squared? All right, so 6 squared is 36. 9 squared is 81. Is that less than, greater than, two, greater than or equal to 3 square root of 3 squared 13 squared? With this, you square this one, and you have to square that. 3 squared is 9. The square root of 13 squared is 13. And then 9 times 13 is 117. All right, and we add these two, 36 and 81. All right, 6 and 1 is 7. All right, 8 and 3 is 11. All right, so they are equal to. 117 equals 117. So what kind of a triangle is it? It is a right triangle. Okay? The second one over here. We have 16, 24, and 29. And again, we can make a triangle with those lengths. All right? But do we have a right triangle? And obviously 29 is the longest side, so we have 16 squared plus 24 squared. Is it less than, greater than, or equal to 29 squared? And again, I want this notation here, all right? And then at the very end, you determine which one is it, okay? Versus writing three separate equations, just write it all at once like this. And then the very last step, determine is it equal to, less than, or greater than? All right, so 16 squared. We have 256 plus 24 squared, I believe it's 5, or, yeah, 576. Is that less than, greater than, or equal to 29 squared, which is 841. Well, right now I know 6 and 6 ends in a 2, so I know they're not going to be equal. So it's 832. And we have 841, so which symbol do we need? We need this one, all right? And this is my c squared over here. So c squared is greater than those two. So what kind of a triangle is it? It is an obtuse triangle. c squared is greater, it's an obtuse triangle. All right? All right, can segments with lengths of 2.8, 3.2, and 4.2 form a triangle? If so, would the triangle be acute, right, or obtuse? So the first thing we have to determine is, can we make a triangle with these lengths? All right, can we make a triangle? And if you remember, how do we determine whether or not we can make a triangle with three lengths? We have this situation. Any two sides added together have to be greater than the third. plus 4.2 is greater than 3.2. 3.2 plus 4.2 is greater than 2.8. 2.8 plus 3.2, that's 6. That is greater than 4.2. So yes, we can make a triangle. All right? Yes, it is a triangle. All 
right, now, is it acute, right, or obtuse? That's what we have to determine next. So 2.8 squared plus 3.2 squared is a less than, greater than, or equal to, excuse me, 4.2 squared. All right, 2.8 squared, 7.84 plus 3.2 squared, 10.24 is that less than, greater than, or equal to 4.2 squared. 17.64. All right, so we have 17.64. Again, this is our c squared over here. So 7.84 plus 10.24, we got 18.08. So 17.64 is less than 18.08, so this is an acute triangle. C squared is less than, it's acute. All right, please try these problems on your own and bring those to class, all right? So we have triangle with side lengths 5, 4, and 2 squared to 10. Is it a right triangle? 3 times the square root of 61, 18, and 15. Is that a right triangle? And then lastly, six, um, you have segments with length 6.1, 9.4, and 11.3. Can we first form a triangle? And if so, is it going to be acute, right, or obtuse? Please try those three problems and then bring that in um, and talk about, we'll talk about those. All right. Thanks a lot. If you have questions, please bring those to class tomorrow. Thanks a lot. Bye.